Alright, Santa's come early this year. So let's see what we got. Well, first of all, a solid state hard drive because I really thought it was about time I upgraded. I'm still going to be using spinning hard drives to save things like videos and projects and things on, but for the Windows installation and games and programs and things, yeah. Also got this fly, electronic fly killer because there's tons of them in the room and uh, this thing doesn't seem to be doing anything. And also a new hard drive dock. Now you may remember seeing one like this in my previous videos a long time ago. A friend got one of those for me. Well, that sadly no longer works. Because I accidentally broke the USB cable um, connector on it, so, so I got this one. And this can do just about everything. Card readers, IDE, SATA, and um, this weird connector here. I've got a hard drive that fits that in my, in my shed, which I have never been able to use. So yeah, might even be able to see what's on that one. This stuff has all come in from the cold, so I just want to let it climatize and a constellation and constellation concentration constellation no I tried that word condensation that's the word so any condensation that's in there is gone now try them out I guess this thing must have batteries in it because I haven't even plugged it in and uh So I'm going to give that a charge. Uses one of those nasty little micro USB ports. There we go. That'll also make a neat little nightlight. Or bedside light, rather. So, I have a few hard drives, yeah. And that doesn't count all the ones that have died, that I've thrown away, but, um, anyway. So I've got this one, which I've got most of the Star Kids stuff on. I'm sure there's some other stuff on there as well. This one? Uh, this is the one I think it is. No, that's the... That's the IDE. That's an 80 gigabyte hard drive. I've no idea what's on that one, so we'll find out. I don't even know if it still works, of course. This one came out of a Sky Plus box. Actually, my old Sky Plus box. Now this one has got a copy of Windows 10 on it. It's not activated or anything, but uh, it's just one that I fool around with when I want to try stuff that I'm not too sure if it's safe to use. I've got this little one here, which has got some... It's another 80 gigabyte one, which has got a few things on it, like VSTs and stuff. And this is the one with the weird-ass connector, which I've never even seen before on any other hard drive, but apparently this has it, so... Actually, I meant, uh, that one down there. Alright, this is connected up, and I'm ready to go. So first I'm going to try this little hard drive. This is a SATA hard drive. So I'll just plop that in there. Make sure that's in there nice and secure. Turn this on. Let the hard drive spin up. Does it show up on the computer? Yep, yeah, there it is. Ignore the name of it. That doesn't really mean anything. Alright, that works. Now I've already copied one file onto it that I wanted to save. So now we're going to try an IDE. Turn it off. Wait for that to park and spin down. Alright, and now it's time to try a SATA drive. I mean, IDE drive. So I've got this ID hard drive, which I haven't used in maybe six years or so, because I just wasn't able to use it, because computers these days don't have IDE connectors on them. Although I do have a little circuit board that's got an IDE connector on one side and a SATA connector on the other side, that never worked. But I have had this hard drive spun up recently. So, let's see if we can... Retrieve the data from it. Alright, 
we've got a local disk G appeared on the screen. I think that is this hard drive. Yeah, I can hear it doing stuff, so... Uh... I don't know half of the stuff I've got on this. It appears this hard drive still works. Got some videos on there. I don't know what this is. Let's see if we can play it. Hello there, this is called Dim Clean, just doing a quick little video here. Well, I thought I'd do some more tests, look quite experiment. It's one of my old YouTube videos. This circuit here. If I can keep the caps charged. Remember when I used to do this stuff? Somebody whose name will not go Yeah, I'm gonna get back to this eventually. Making sparks. I really do want to get back to doing this kind of stuff. Let's see what's right at the end. Yeah, I remember putting that there. Let's see what else we got. I've got music. Oh, that's seriously outdated now. Picks. What's in Picks? There's Tails and Yoshi. The two cutest video game characters ever. You know me, I'm a Tails fanatic. Oh, I like that. But yeah. So now we know what's on that hard drive. It's not a walkthrough, talk through, play through, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly so you can see what it looks like. I think he still says that actually. Yeah, you can tell I'm a furry when I save pictures like this. So, we know IDE works, and we know SATA works. Actually, which one is... okay. Okay, I got them the wrong way around, but you get the idea. Now, this is the one that came out of the Sky Plus box. And I don't know if this hard drive still works, because when I still had that circuit board, you know, with the... SATA on one side and IDE on the other side. I tried to read the data off this disk and I didn't get anywhere. I tried to format it and in doing all of that I may have permanently damaged this anyway. But if it is still readable we may be able, we may be able to still see the files on there. That is, if they haven't been destroyed or not in some proprietary format that Windows cannot read. Either way though it's more storage, and that's what really matters. Alright, let's see what happens. I remember that sound. See, does anything come up? Oh! It's readable! That does surprise me. So, these are the files that a Sky Plus box will record onto a hard drive. Let's have a look and see what's in these folders. I don't know if any of this is playable. I've got an STR file, which is about eh, almost a gigabyte. So I guess that's the actual video content, these STR files. Although I don't have anything that can play those. But it'd be interesting if I can find something that'll play those and see what's actually on there. Alright, now we have the hard drive with the weird-ass connector on it. My hopes aren't high of this disc being usable. Because it's been in the shed for God only knows how long. I, I can't even remember what it came out of. Let's see. 
if it'll work. I'm not hearing it spin up. So I think that one might be dead, but... Like I said, my hopes aren't high for that one. Okay, well I don't know which is which here. So I've got a SD card in there, and a hard drive, and... I think G might be the hard drive, and F might be the SD card. So this is that Star Kids backup disc. Drive, whatever you want to call it. And it appears that there's a version of Windows on here. Which is really strange. Seems to have got episodes 1 through 7 in there. Anyway. I'm going to go through some of the hard drives and see what's on them. Revisiting the Skybox's hard drive, I've made a little bit of a strange discovery. So, this is the hard drive right here. At least I think it is. Let's just make sure that I'm... Alright, yep, it is. Now, you can see there it says 148 gigabytes free of 149 gigabytes indicating that this is a 160 gigabyte hard drive with barely anything on it. Yeah, if I highlight all the folders here, and just see how much is actually in there, we have about 79.4 gigabytes.